as we take a look at the tail of the tape here for this middleweight title bout scheduled for five. Branch, 32 years of age, 6'1", weighted at 184. There you see his sizable reach advantage over Yushin Okami, who is 33 years of age. A 10-point must system is in effect. That's based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent here at the World Series of Fighting. And now we set it inside the cage for the official introductions and Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Sun Dome in Tampa, Florida, are you ready for your main event of the night? It's about to go down. Somebody make some noise! Brought to you by CraveOnline.com. Five rounds for the World Series of Fighting Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, introducing on my left, his record, 30 victories versus eight defeats. He is the challenger, standing six feet, two inches tall, weighing 183 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan. Introducing Yushin Thunder Okami. And now, his opponent on my right, fighting out of the red corner, his record, 14 victories, three defeats, standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing 184 pounds, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. He is the undisputed, reigning, defending, World Series of Fighting Middleweight Champion of the World, presenting David Branch. Your referee is Andrew Glenn. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Gentlemen, you got the rules in the dressing room. Are there any questions? No. Follow my instructions at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. If I tell you to stop, stop immediately. You understand? Mm -hmm. Touch them if you want. Step back. And the lovely Emily Miller gets us started here on the main event of the night. This for the middleweight title belt of the World Series You're of ready? Fighting. David Fight. Branch in the white trunks. Yushin Okami in the black with the blue trim. All right. Now, let's see what's going to happen. Miles, we didn't get a chance to get you your keys in this one, but how do you see this one shaking down? First of all, let's talk about Okami. What does he need to do to get the victory tonight and the belt? Yeah, keep it on the feet, I think, is the best. You know, uh, French is good on the ground as well. I don't think he can uh, submit him. If he takes it to the ground, if he decides that, you know, be on top and crown and pound. And Okami, I would say, see if he can go for a takedown. Since, uh, or so many br uh, branch. Yep. See if we go for takedown, and then the same deal there. Go for ground and pound. Since Okami never lost by way of submission, I don't see a submission coming. Now, that doesn't mean that if one dazes the other one with a punch, that there then will be a submission, of course. Yushin Okami's record, 30 and 8, 10 knockouts, 5 submissions. Seriously, an MMA veteran with heavy hands, ranked in the top 10 in this division for the last eight years. Of course, he had 18 fights in the UFC, and he has wins over guys like Silva, Lomba, Marquardt, Belcher, and Munoz. So he has fought some of the very best in the world. Yep. On the other side, David Branch has an impressive record with 14 and 3, with four knockouts and four submissions. Enzo Gracie Academy Jiu Jitsu out of Brooklyn, New York. Black belt in Jiu Jitsu. Now remember, he defeated Jesse Taylor via that Dars, which gave him the title here at the World Series of Fighting. The question is, how long can he hold on to it with someone as talented and as skilled as Yushin Okami? Okami is driving slowly but surely up against the fans, and he's just going to look for the kill. Wow. Oh, that's a Big nice right. punch. I like it because it's the top of the temple and it really messes with your equilibrium. Branch looking Branch for some momentum early on here in this title bout scheduled for five rounds. And he looks good. He should throw right knee to the body, straight to the body now, from that position. Just use the hip flexor, no hip depth, just like that. And now more explosion. Just explode from zero to 150. See Branch wary of those knees coming from Yushin Okami. Yeah, Okami also, you know, like I said, he's a black belt in judo. There's a lot of throws in judo in Japan. So uh, he's got to watch out. He's not going to be taken down suddenly with some hip toss. That he actually can do from this position if Branch makes one little mistake. Boss, are these inside knees that uh, Okami is trying to land that Branch is checking up really going to do that much damage to a guy like Branch, or are they more of a setup move? As you said, to get him to that judo or hip toss. If you if you do it hard, yeah. If you do it hard with the kneecap and you make sure that you throw some power on it, there was unlocking. 
you just don't expect it from this position, yeah. so you, you can't flex your muscle as you can do with a low kick. And if you can't flex, that's like abs. You know, you breathe in, you get hit, you go down. The same with the leg. If they're off balance. There it is. You see? That's a typical judo thing. There, inside leg. So we'll see how the champ does from his back. David Branch trying to fend off Yushi Okami. The butterfly guard, which is good because Okami took him down. It means that he doesn't want to stand anyway. Normally, if you fight a striker, you don't want to do this, of course. He's going to stand up, right? <laughs> Get an underhook, preferably two. Lift him a little bit on top of him, and then you can use the butterfly guard to reverse it. And again, Okami has been in this situation many, many times. Both of them black belts, both of them different arts. Judo Jiu Jitsu very close now. Yep. Coming up on one minute to go here, round number one. This one's scheduled for five in the middleweight division. David Branch on his back is your reigning champion. Yushin Okami is the challenger. Last warning, you gotta work here, guys. Andrew Glenn, our official, looking on, employing both fighters to pick up the pace a little bit as Okami takes this opportunity to posture up. With Branch having pretty good wrist control there until Okami breaks free and fires off a straight right. Yep. And it's not even his power hand, he's left handed. Nice job here by David Branch. And Branch gets the fight back to his feet. Coming up on the final 20 seconds here of round number one. Branch is looking great on his feet as well. And we'll have the second round when we return to World Andrew Series Bill. of Fighting 15 here in Tampa. Back in Tampa, and this was the scene at the end of round one, boss. That is yeah. your stock variety low shot with a knee. By the border. <laughs> Okami made mention of it to Andrew Glenn as we went to commercial break. Keep an eye on that as we start round number two. World Series of Fighting 15 from Tampa, Florida. Todd Harris, Boss Root, Joey Varnich has Sakura with you. Middleweight title belt is on the line as we check in at cage side with the aforementioned Joey Varnich. Thanks, Todd. I was in the corner of Dave Branch in between rounds, and his head coach, Jamal Patterson, said, first and foremost, avoid the clinch of Yushin Okami. That's where he's strongest. Secondly, he wants to see him play the in-and-out game. And what he means is come in a couple steps with a feint to draw a reaction out of Yushin Okami, and when you see the reaction, capitalize with straight punches down the middle. If you can implement that kind of game plan, you'll tattoo his face, you'll control the fight, you'll retain the title. That's a good plan right there, Bob. I like it a lot. You know, I say to my guys also, uh, you know, throw a lazy strike on purpose. You see, so they count to the right hook that uh, Okami did and capitalize on that. Throw a lazy punch, they counter, they think you're open, yep. move out of the way, boom, come back with a counter count. There's that feint as Branch fakes in on the, on the shot. Okami reacts to it. And Branch has such good quickness. I mean, you talk about him as an MMA artist. He's just an excellent athlete. He looks great on his feet. Much better than I expected against Okami. Nice job. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okami's getting great takedown defense. Levels. David Branch will take the kick up high, inside kick low. Does the same thing with the punches as Okami comes forward and fires off the big left. Okami tries to shoot in here now. Does that mean he doesn't feel comfortable on the feet anymore? Overhand right misses from David Branch. 2.20 to go in round two. This one's scheduled for five. Nice jab, nice kick. 
Very nice. Yeah. David Branch are asking their fighter not to just stand in front of him to move. As Okami has certainly closed the distance down, and as Joey Varner reported, would love to get this thing up against the cage into the clinch. And he's doing this the whole time. Nice job here, movement from David Branch. Move away right away from the cage. Here now, then the inside. Okami on the clinch. You put a knee to the midsection. Yeah. Branch able to break out of there and fire off a couple of rib shots to Okami. Wow, nice straight right. Beautiful. Nice left. Nice hook, long hook. Wow. Branch. Branch coming forward with a nice combination. Very nice. Well, Okami has been in the past KO before, so it is possible. He's, He's clean. just Keep a man. That's what they say in Rocky. He's bleeding. You see? Boss, <laughs> looking back on tonight's card and the undercard, we have really expanded the World Series of Fighting with emphasis on world, as we have heard directions coming from corners in Spanish, Portuguese, English, Japanese, and a variety of other slangs. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention your Dutch. Yes. Mixed in. We will have the third round when we return to Tampa. Third round set to get underway here. World Series of Fighting 15 live from Tampa, Florida, and the Sun Dome. We're on the campus of the USF as we check in cage side and Joey Varner. All right, Todd, I had the chance to get into the corner of Yushin Okami, and his corner is telling him, be careful of David Branch right now because he's looking for one big shot. That's where he's dangerous. But they said, Yushin, we want you to be more aggressive. Be aggressive with your clinch game, tie him up, bully him to the fence. You get him to the fence, you can drag him to the ground, and that's how you can win the round and win the belt. And as always, I'll ask Boss Rutten, do you agree? Yeah, it's good, but you know, it's, uh, Branch knows this. Every time his, his back hits the, the fence, he, he flips around. So it's, it's very hard to get him against the fence. Obviously, he did his homework. Looked at Tim Boats, how he did, yeah. and that was exactly that kind of work. Branch should move if he moves away to that side. That's right, away from the power hand there. Take down the fence. Okami doing exactly what his corners are. Yeah, but now he's in. There it is. Branch, every Once time again, he does this. Branch able to spin out. Now he's got Okami up against the cage here in the third round. We're scheduled for five. He should do that with the bone. Let's work here, guys. Let's work. Make it heavy. Just keep it going. Believe it or not, all those little things help because the muscle is relaxed again, you know? Punching. I tell you, really yeah, I was going to say, Branch has impressed me tonight. Just yep. by, I knew he was an excellent athlete. We've seen him many times before, but his striking has been on, on point tonight. Looks very sharp. Recently, he uh, fought out he had two brothers, and both of them boxers. So maybe uh, he's been training with them a little bit as well. David 
Branch coming out of Henzo Gracie Academy Jiu-Jitsu in Brooklyn, New York, his home. And just 32 years of age, has a record of 14 and three. As we talked about earlier, just an excellent athlete. Black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, very well rounded, but it is striking game tonight that has really impressed us here at side. Yep, that old man just landed again, the left, now two left in a row landing. He's landing a lot of shots. Sure, they're not knockout punches, but he's landing, and he's waiting for that one. If he can land one of those, that could be cool. Straight again, once again, finding his home on the face of Yushin Okami. But we said it, Okami has 10 knockout victories. There we go already, that was hard shot. So always watch out for that guy. Good fighter. Under two minutes to go here in round number three. I like his kicks too. He say, uh, you know, even from that distance, and the opponent being in the southpaw position, normally he can't generate a lot of power, but he he puts it on there. If you're David Branch, do you even consider getting this fight to the ground and see how you can fare there, or are you just having so much success with the striking? Why bother? Well, you know, David's training with guys like uh, Gracie there. You know, I, I'm sure that he wants to test his skills there all, as right. well. That's why a few times he tried to take it to the ground. And I think once he's on top. And if he makes strikes in, ground a pound, go to submissions from there, you, know, you might get lucky. And what if you, what if you submit him? You submit a guy who never submitted in his life. Do you think that Yushin Okami is as surprised as we are as the effectiveness of David Branch's striking tonight? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, Branch looks super good. Time Yushin Okami comes in to try to get it into the clinch, as Joey pointed out, his corner's asking him to do. Branch is able to utilize that excellent defense and sprawl, keep it on its feet, and he just spins out of the out of the clinch of Okami. And that, it. What you said, that, that's what I wanted to say. He, he sprawls, and then he moves to the side, right? Very nice. Coming up on the final 30 seconds of this championship bout, scheduled for five rounds. And David Branch has been effective, not overpowering, as Boss pointed out. Those punches aren't knockout worthy right now, but he has certainly been effective at the striking game here through three rounds of this one. Yeah, he's throwing big bombs in, in between. And if one of those bombs is going to land, that could be the end. Okay, looks like we're going to another round. We're going to go to the championship rounds four and five when we return to Tampa. So we have reached what the fighters call the championship rounds, rounds Ew. four and five. Boss, we talked earlier in the undercard about in a three-round fight, round three is it's all about the heart. What does round four and five tell you about your fighters? That means they're both in shape, they both look great, nobody's breathing heavy. We're gonna see a fight. You know, this is every round, for me, I don't know how it feels to you, goes by, goes by fast. Yep. And that means it's an interesting round. You know that you can't make a mistake. Either of these guys can make a mistake. Look at these high kicks every time he throws. Still a lot of snap and sizzle yep. on the punches and kicks of both fighters. Fitness not a problem. They have certainly done their homework and had great training camps leading up to this World Series of Fighting showdown here in Tampa, Florida. This is round four, scheduled for nice. five. Nice, kick again. That branch fades up high, goes in low. Keep the hands and the head very active. Oh, man, powerful kick too. This, this is like some Boss Root bad, bad <laughs> dance moves here. He's looking great. Oh, again landed with the left. 
sort of sweats but it's flying up her head. That's what he's looking for, the big left. He wants to land the big left. And Branch knows this. You should have Kami Pine with that lead right hand, trying to find an opening to land the left and possibly get Branch into a little bit of trouble, but give credit to the champ so far. He has stayed out of danger. Nice left again on the chin every time. Perhaps a single, can he make it stick? That's the big question here. She holds Kami, gets out, very nice. Pushes him away. She goes straight to the body, left it to the head. Oh, you see? That's the danger of Okam. Yushin Okami, just a pure grinder. This is his 39th professional fight in the world of MMA. As we mentioned, he has 18 fights in UFC. Ranked top 10 in the division for eight years. Just a consistent grinder. Looked momentarily like he was going to have himself a takedown, but Branch does a great job defending it. Branch should one time keep, look, keep looking dead in his eye, and instead of a high kick, throw the kick to the body, the right. Because it's wide open there. If he thinks it's a high kick, he's going to block it. Nice one. Gotta watch out, don't overcommit now. Take your shots, take your shots. Nice. Oh, five Got scoring two. points there, another one. Branch with that left. Wow. Nice, every time, man. Just add a, make a one-two one time, you would say, right? Yep. Pop, pop. Now put your head in the right side, please. Under two minutes to go here in round number four. Two very evenly matched fighters, Boss Root. You get the sense oh. that we're going to probably see a fifth round and possibly take this one to the judges for a decision. That kick you should throw back only to the spleen section with the right. Prokami is delivered when he throws the left to the body. Oh, the nice. Branch able to put Okami down, and now he goes for the mount. Can he finish him? And he does. That is it. Whoa. Big victory. David Branch in the fourth round able to sit down Yushin Okami. What a performance. Heavy hands, and they were quick. We will back, be back with the official decision. Plus, we'll see it all played out when we return to Tampa, Florida. David Branch retains his belt. Back in Tampa, Florida, the conclusion of the championship bout. It is David Branch and his effective striking tonight that proves to be the end for Yushin Okami. A tremendous flurry in the fourth round when it looked like we were to go to the fifth and final round. And it's Branch that gets the victory by way of KO. For the official decision, we send it inside the cage and Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andrew Glenn has seen enough to stop the fight at three minutes and 39 seconds of round number four, officially a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner and still the World Series of Fighting middleweight champion of the world, David Branch. David Branch getting the victory over Yushin Okami in a very competitive fight. Branch retains the belt in a very entertaining bout. Yushin Okami, though, a strong performance through those four rounds. But in the, the end, it was the striking of David Branch. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Let's What you want to do? If you don't strike first, that's when they going to come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid. That ain't cool. Nah.